an EEG for cheap. What a cool toy to play with. I'm concentrating now. <laughs> first, I want to thank you guys for showing up and taking an interest in this video. Uh, this is actually my first video on the channel, so uh, please let me know what you think. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here. So my background is in computer science, and I'm always looking for new ways to interact with computers. So Brain Computer Interface, or BCI, is probably one of the most interesting things I've ever heard of. According to Wikipedia, it also goes by Neural Control Interface, uh, Mind Machine Interface, Direct Neural Interface, and Brain Machine Interface. But BCI seems to be the, the common nomenclature. So whether we're talking about uh, implant that enables you to control a prosthetic arm or leg, or if we're talking about a wearable that allows you to control the scroll uh, on a screen, I find it all incredibly interesting. So personally, I'm highly motivated by the opportunity to develop really creative solutions, and there's a ton of opportunity to be creative in this relatively young field. If you're watching this, you're probably wondering, is it worth the purchase, or how easy is this to use? Or maybe you're just wondering, how can you use this to measure your own brain activity and do things with your concentration and relaxation levels? Well, I plan on talking about all of this and more. If you're here for some other reason and you're just confused about what I'm saying, allow me to explain. The MindWave Mobile 2 is an EEG device meant for the average Joe. In other words, it's a consumer brain-computer interface device. So this is a device that will pick up the electromagnetic signals on your scalp uh, created by the flow of ions through neurons in the brain. So despite some questions about the quality of the signal, uh, for example, is it the best idea to put your one and only electrode on the prefrontal area where it'll be especially susceptible to eye blinks, which are a big deal in EEG signals, despite all of that, uh, the MindWave Mobile 2 is the lowest cost, I believe it's the lowest cost all-in-one BCI device, and that comes with upsides and downsides. So what I want to discuss today is what is the MindWave Mobile 2 and how easy is it to use? But first, let me explain how I ended up with this device. Okay, so I was getting into TikTok because the tech community on there is actually pretty cool. So I made a TikTok about an AI that uses EEG signals to try to predict which facial features you might be thinking about. So a commenter mentioned a SkyMall toy uh, that allowed you to control a little ball with your brain, and she was asking, was this the same technology? I was expecting to say no, but after doing some research, lo and behold, we have the MindFlex. So this is a game where you wear an EEG headset, similar to the MindWave, and you levitate a tiny little hollow plastic ball uh, using a little air jet underneath that's controlled by how hard you're concentrating. I was totally astonished that technology like this exists in a child's toy. And I still think this is a great example of a fundamental use case of a basic BCI device. So in other words, this is a good place to start if you're thinking about how to create your own BCI technology. So I bought a copy on Amazon and it totally worked as advertised. I was like blown away. So this made me want to look more into the company that created this thing. So after a little bit more research, I discovered Neurosky, the company that created the MindFlex and a number of other relatively inexpensive EEG devices, including the MindWave Mobile 2. So what is the MindWave Mobile 2? So once again, I was so blown away that something like this was available for so cheap I thought I had to get it. I thought maybe I could even replicate the original study I saw and generate facial features using my, uh, my own brain power, or at least just have fun with the APIs. So when I got it, it came in this case with this quick start guide. And the only thing that I would really say is missing uh, is an actual Bluetooth dongle. So this thing communicates with your computers through Bluetooth. So that makes it super easy to connect to like a phone or like a laptop. But if you have a desktop that doesn't have a Bluetooth adapter, then you're going to have to get one. And I guess that's a part of keeping the price tag as low as possible, maybe. 
So the device itself is made of a pretty lightweight plastic. It's pretty flexible. It has one electrode that goes on your prefrontal area. I think this is sometimes called the FP1. Uh, so it takes one AAA battery. Uh, I'm kind of confused why they chose to go with batteries instead of, I don't know, maybe an internal battery that uh, you could just charge. Maybe that's also related to keeping the price down. Uh, so I just went ahead and picked up a rechargeable AAA battery uh, because the first week I got this, I was kind of running through uh, AAAs. So if you're wanting to use this for a long period of time, definitely get rechargeables. It has this little ear clip, which just so you know, if you wear it for long periods of time, it sort of makes a little indentation based on this little pattern that's inside there. Let me see if I can get the pattern. You have a little cross on your ear if you wear it for a long time, which is not a big deal, but now you know. It also has this on off switch, which is blue, which represents on, it's black when it's off, and when it's low battery, uh, that's going to be red. Okay, so how easy is it to use the MindWave Mobile 2? Well, for one, the MindWave is probably one of the absolute fastest EEG devices to set up. According to mydoctor.com.au, uh, it takes 20 minutes to an hour to place 16 to 25 electrodes in a typical EEG setup. So let's do some quirky math and uh, say it takes about 20 minutes to set up 16 electrodes. That means that's 1.25 minutes per electrode. It takes around 10 seconds to put on the mind wave. It's as easy as putting the thing on, turning it on, adjusting the uh, the electrode and you're good. Probably the biggest pain point for using this thing is uh, trying to debug the Bluetooth connection sometimes. Sometimes there's issues connecting with Bluetooth and it's not really clear where, where the problem is occurring. So when it comes to actually using the device, the NeuroSky website has an app store where you can download a number of free or for pay apps uh, that work on a variety of different platforms. Uh, some apps work only on iOS, some work with Windows, some work uh, with a mobile device. Uh, so there's plenty for you to choose from. I think it's great that there are so many apps for you to use right off the bat. So when you're ready to get started with your own apps, you can travel to the Developer tab and get started with the SDK. Uh, you can choose the version that fits your environment uh, for me, I use the Windows tools. It comes with the C++ SDK, a .NET wrapper for the C++ SDK, and the Think Gear connector. The connector is the main focus for me because uh, I personally would rather go on NPM or GitHub and look up a JavaScript implementation. I'm more of a JavaScript guy than C++ or .NET. The connector will allow any library or implementation you find online to connect to your device. So once you're able to connect to your device, you can subscribe to events that will give you spectral data as well as their proprietary essence concentration and relaxation uh, metrics. I would say their two custom metrics are going to be the easiest way to start programming some functionality really quickly. You know, think, uh, you know, after your concentration reaches a certain level, maybe a light turns on, or maybe that represents a click in a video game, or maybe, you know, any, anything that you could think to program. You can, it's not that you can't use the spectral data, uh, you can use the spectral data too, but typically that requires a lot more research and high level understanding of exactly what it is that you're trying to do. So definitely, concentration and relaxation are going to be your best bet for a quick start. So once again, uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, maybe next time. Uh, if you did, uh, thank you very much. You can subscribe, you can like, you can do all those things that YouTubers are always talking about. So this was a review for the MindWave Mobile 2. Uh, let's just quickly review some of the points that we covered. So this is probably the lowest cost consumer EEG at the moment uh, from the makers of the MindFlex, as well as the basis for the Neko Mimi 
brain-controlled cat ears. Wow. Finally, I can effectively communicate with my cats. It's relatively easy to use and fast to set up despite some Bluetooth bugginess. It has many free apps that you can use right off the bat for a wide variety of devices. It also has an awesome SDK and a number of open source projects that uh, you can start with. I would say it's worth the price if you're willing to put up with technical quirks like buggy Bluetooth and things like that. Looking at where the field is going, I could definitely see in the future there might be an even lower cost and higher quality EEG device, but I would say for now, this is the best bargain that you're going to get.